everybody. Hope you're doing marvellously well. I'm here with Chris Sorum. How are you, my friend? Doing well. We're at Good. the Nest Recorders, yes? Nest Recorders, yep. I should know that, seeing as it's like the 27th thing we've done together. I think together. you've said that every time, too. Yeah. 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 You're consistent. Consistent. <laughs> and well, it's the Nest Recorders because when you first came here to build it, there was like bird's nests and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'd find pigeons walking around in here. <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't figure out how, and they were living in the ceiling next door. Nice. So my friend told me to name it The Nest. What we're doing here is, well, first of all, we love the studio. We did a course here a couple of months ago. It's just a beautiful, beautiful room, which gives us a lot of opportunity to record a band live. And in this instance, it is, of course, the great Mikel Seeley and an all-star cast of musicians. And we're going to be demoing the Evo, their new unit, which is called the SP8. And what it is, is it's an expandable interface, an eight input expandable interface, which I believe, Eric, is like 500 bucks or something. It's really inexpensive. So we're going to put it through its paces. We're going to do uh, kind of a Shelly Ackers thing, which is basically everybody's in a room playing at a level where they can hear each other without really the need for any kind of headphones or yeah, anything. Yeah, a little bleed. Yeah, a bit of bleed. Minimal. Yeah. Yeah. A recorded rehearsal. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and nobody's heard the song before except for Mikhail, so we're going to go through and, and do some pre-production and everything. You'll get a bit of that on camera. Should be fun. Yep, looking forward to it. Yeah. Let's try it out. And you're going to use the smart gain function. So yeah, that... take away the need for any kind of engineering. Yeah, I usually <laughs> just hit smart function, go make a coffee, and <laughs> just lock up when you're done, you know? <laughs> if only life was like that. Yeah. But... The, these are wonderful sounding, and uh, we know the Evo 16, we use it all the time. So this is an interesting idea to expand it. We're using 16 inputs now because you've got 8 from the Evo uh, 16 and 8 from the SP8. But the idea is you can download the multitracks, mix it for yourself, do your own overdubs, do whatever you want to do, and just realize that, you know, it's a whole new world of affordability. Yeah, it's, all, it's also awesome. Like if people call me to do mobile recordings and... That's a good idea. I'm not extremely mobile here, but like the right. fact that's one of the reasons we're set up in here is just to kind yeah. of mimic uh, yeah. how that would go, you know, working off of a laptop and not bringing a gab of the studio with you, you know. You're not bringing a rack of Neves and a, and I, that's what I've been having to do a is 24 bring, track time machine. It's a bit ridiculous, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Excellent. So I suppose without further ado, let's uh, get stuck into the recording part. Say can weigh me down, but everything you don't say wears me out. I only wanna hear what's on your mind, even if I've heard it a thousand times. Maybe it's not that many, but I've seen enough to know that if your soul ain't ready, then I should let you go. Cause I know we ain't working now. I wanted you to be the one for me, and if you know that we ain't working now. What makes you think that we could ever be? I wanna love that last forever. It's a reality. Cause I know we ain't working out. Guess I'll find another next and fair. Don't know what I want, but I know I want you. Let's put this record on. Patient, check by check. Not a foot of wall does roll me back. Cause I know we ain't working now.
hope you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun to be able to record a band in a room together. They had some headphones, there was a stereo mix going to it, but at the same time they were sort of listening to each other. The, the cues was really to hear the vocal if they wanted to. The only difference was when Shelly Yakos would do something like that, he'd have a little wedge so you could hear the vocal bleeding in. In this instance, it was just the headphones that had the vocals. But otherwise, everybody was playing live. There are, of course, a vocal overdub, on these multi-tracks. There's also an acoustic stereo mic acoustic overdub, also um, two guitar overdubs as well. And one very simple Barry idea, which is actually played on a bass. So first of all, let's talk about the Evo SP8. First of all, it's really super inexpensive. And that is probably the biggest selling point is, is it sounds fantastic, but it is inexpensive. So the lovely folks at Audient have given us one of these SP8s to give away. So you can enter to win one of them down below. Just look at the link there. When I demoed the Evo stuff before, and wonderful people like Julian Krauser as well, when they demoed it, we all love the sound of the preamps. We also like the ease of use of it. With Chris at his studio, all he did was select the inputs and off you go. Within a few seconds, he's got it all completely done. All of the gain is automatically set. So we could connect multiples of these. We could have 24 tracks. We ended up with 16, which was more than enough in this situation. But if you want to run more, of course you can. Now, so a quick look at the box here. There's eight Evo mic pre's, two JFA instrument inputs. So those are basically a lot of the cheaper, and actually still do it, um, interfaces don't have very good guitar inputs, do they? Quite frankly, they, they have a line input, so if you're punching out of a, you know, a, a synth or something like that, it's always no problem at all with line input, but for an electric guitar, sometimes there just, just isn't enough way to get enough gain in there, so people end up buying DI boxes, etc. all of which is okay, but it would be nice if they had actual quarter-inch inputs, like the JFETs. So the JFET allow you to just literally plug your guitar in the front. There's eight line outputs. Now, we didn't set up complex headphone mixers. You can. There is a mixer here. If you look over here, there is a mixer here. So you could set up a far more complicated headphone mix than we did. We didn't really need to because we just didn't need to. However, you could. Obviously, two ADAT inputs and two ADAT outputs allowing you to daisy chain from, of course, the Evo 16, which we have here, which is what we were doing, using an Evo 16 for eight ins and out and an SP8 for another eight in and out. The HD converters are just absolutely superb. I, I, as far as I know, they're the same on the range, on the Evos, they are on all the rest of the ID series for Audient. Just really amazing sounding. And of course, it's 24-bit 96K, which as far as uh, human beings' ears is concerned is, I believe, more than good enough. It sounds really good. The whole Evo range is been a real eye-opener for me because I always thought audience ID range was one of the best on the market and tests, as we know, pretty much in the top three on the market. I mean, two of their machines are in Julian Krause's top three list and we trust his engineering way of testing. And then the Evo range comes up and pushes its way into that list as well. At $499 for an extra eight inputs to add to your Evo 16, 
to get 16 inputs, it's going to cover 99% of studio needs. Unless you're recording an individually mic'd orchestra, most of the time 16 inputs has, has been enough for me. I have had the occasional live recordings where 24 was great, of course. But again, 500 bucks and you can get another eight in and out. It's really smart. I really, really like it. Let's go and check out the production side now. So what we're going to do is take you through the miking that Chris did at his studio, Nest Recorders. So we're going to have everybody play a chorus now. The only person that's on headphones in this situation is Mikhail. When Shelley would record, he would often have like a, a wedge in front. So Tom Petty would be having a wedge and there'd be a little spill of the vocal that people could hear it, but it would be really pretty minimal. The whole idea is that all the amps are in the room and everybody's playing at a volume that doesn't bleed too much into everything else. But they get that feeling of actually being in a rehearsal room working together as opposed to, sorry, very cold, everybody just on headphones, like, you know, very isolated thing. This is like, as you can see, four people sitting around and playing music together. So they're going to run down a chorus. I'm going to set the auto gain. How are we doing this? So first, select the microphone. Yep. Since they're linked, uh, you just got to do the, the main interface, which is the bottom unit. Great. And then now I just select which tracks I want to put. Enable, which I want all of them. And then smart listening. Nice. It's half the job. They're putting us out of business. Who needs us? I'm gonna go make a copy. <laughs> there it is. Levels look good. That's it. Done. Done. Voila. 16 inputs set just like that. God bless it. So I still think it should be groove, fill. At the moment it's like fill, fill. So groove, then fill in the chorus. Okay. Yeah, so maybe I, uh, can we, we'll do the chorus again. I'll show you what I mean. Sorry, I know it's vague to say. Talking about music is like dancing about architecture. I feel like that verse. I feel like that verse is always following her vocal melody. That's why I think the Motown comes in. So just to that verse. Just make it go all the way through. It's that. That sounds. Yeah, just make down, down, down. You can go through that. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, exactly. Then tap a tap a tap a da 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 da. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Just remember, Motown's the best music in the world. Can you follow that exactly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. 
I think it's it's、uh, filling in the same groove. Is the so it's it's still the um boom boom, but it's like um dum dum boom dum dum da boom boom. So you you're filling in the same groove. So it's not like a full change, but you're just playing more, staying on on the root note. If you know what I mean. That old, you hear those, those sing, ting. It's just a. You know, I mean, those subtle things. Yeah, can you just Ringo that? Just do. Yeah, there you go. Just give me that. There you go. Now try it now. It just sounds uptight. For want of a better word, like really super white and uptight, just go, just make it swing. Yeah, there you go. Great. One, two, three, four. Because we can always have a tambo going here. And it makes the that guitar sound more moody now as well. Because that'd be a great moment.、Okay. Yeah, ba 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 ba. It's much much better now. It makes, like I said, the, now the guitars come yeah, alive, yeah. and I hear the James Bondness, which I didn't hear when it was all happy. Me neither. Yeah. Okay, like that. Okay, same same place. Uh, yeah. James Bondness. That's a、yeah. quote. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Super close. All the ideas are there. They're just not always connecting and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is hard to. But if we get it, it'll be like a really well rehearsed band that's been playing together for years. Right, right, right.、Um, so can we just do that? Like years of rehearsal in like this one moment. You guys got that? That's、you、the way、good? it works. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, yeah, you better get it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the way it works. So let's do. So let's do do that. Can we do the whole thing again? Exactly、yeah. what we just did. Oh, just from the beginning, or?、Um, from where the band come in, yes. I still think it's super, super important to, to get the Motown groove. You know that um, boom, boom has to be in all of the chorus feel. So there, it's, there's probably like Mikael was saying, probably one too many fills. Oh, I thought that's what she wanted. We, we do. We just we're just trying to find the balance.、Okay. Definitely want the. We definitely want the um, do do. So ba da ba ba um, boom boom. You know, rather than that's that should just be. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I thought you wanted the other stuff. No, no, I do. It's just we're just trying to find the、uh, trying the right balance. So it's ba da ba da da. Do you want to sing it just a、uh, bass and guitar again? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we catch up. That that was perfect. Oh my god! I thought that was the intro. I was like, that was perfect. That was the one. <laughs>
feel like um, there's no setup for the very last chorus coming out of the bridge. So, yeah. and there's also dead air. So maybe we can pause when you stop singing, yep. and then everybody come back in. Da da ba ba da ba da da. Yep. All coming together. You know what I mean? It just feels like there's half a bar of nothing. It's the whole band. Yeah. It could it just, be, it just needs to not be like the drums. Working, the working out. Cause I know we. Mm, so maybe not like... the drums. So maybe just you two and no drums. Let's try. Let's try that. Okay. And then you just coming on down me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Same place. One, two. Which is like you just literally finish on them. On that. So we're gonna go over uh, the mics for today's session. So this is a Bayer M88 for vocals. Killing. Use this for vocals all the time. Next we have electric guitar, which there's an amp back here. It's a Fender amp with the AEA N22. And on bass we have DI. We have another uh, Jay-Z mic, which is a BH-1 on the cabinet. Sounds great. Acoustic guitar is just a DI for now. We're going to do some overdubs. Use the actual the room mics over here, which are two Jay-Z mics. This one's a BB-2-9. Sounds good. And then uh, BH-2, which I haven't used either of those till today, but they both sound great. Over to the drum kit, another Jay-Z BH-1 for the hi-hat, which is missing. And we have two of these amethyst mics for the overheads. Those sound incredible. Um, classic 57 on the snare top and bottom. Another M88 on the rack tom. Jay-Z Vintage 11 on the beater side of the kick drum. AKG D112 for the floor tom. Audix D6 for the outside resonant part of the bass drum. Pretty simple setup, sounds good. Trying just to do a nice little live recording in here. Just want to say uh, it was cool using some of the other Jay-Z mics, what I hadn't used today. And, you know, they always sound really great. So I'm always impressed by the stuff they're putting out. And uh, it's usually fairly affordable. And, you know, I love, I love this Vintage 11 mic. I've been using that forever. These uh, were my first time using these. And uh, sounds great. Loved them for overheads. Am I All right. next? Yeah, I'm just setting you up right now. Classic XY. So I'm just gonna mic it stereo because I think this song could afford a little stereo acoustic guitar. Yeah. It's got the room. It's got the room. Just a little XY. Let's see what it sounds like. Probably a little further back. I'm acting like I can hear this right now. But I can't because I don't have my headphones on. So I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. Now, one of the things I want to point out that's really super important is that this mix has zero effects on it. What I did when I mixed it is I didn't. Look at this. Look at the kick. Look at the snare. Look at the hi-hat. Look at the rack. Look at the overheads. Look at the rooms. Not a single plug in on them. We can solo and listen now. This is the sound of the drums. It's the mainly JZ mics. Chris is a big fan of JZ, so or Jay-Z, as you would say, in America. Now you hear a little bit of bass bleed in there. Does not bother me at all. Throw in the bass, again. Again, no compression, no EQ. Electric guitar off the floor, live off the floor. Now, I'll give you the live acoustic guitar. 
you can have that. I'll give you the live stereo acoustic guitar as well, the overdub one. Uh, we'll also give you the live vocal and we'll give you the overdub vocal. You can mess around with them and do whatever you like. But here's the stereo recorded acoustic. Here's some rakes. There's that really cool arpeggiator guitar that Dean came up with. And then we did that riff and then the Barry, you know, on that do, 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 we did that as an overdub with both the Barry and an electric. Now the Barry was actually a bass. Let's throw in Mikhail's vocal. I wanted you to be. So the only thing I cheated on is I put a little bit of gentle compression. Stock comes free with Pro Tools. You can use whatever you like. And then a comes free with Pro Tools D-verb um, set to four and a half seconds. That's it. Those are all of our effects. I wanted you to be so everything else you're hearing is the performances, mainly picked up by the JZ microphones. And or Jay Z microphones going into the Evo 16 and the Evo SP8. So all the subtleties in performance, all of the dynamics, etc., are all coming from the musicians because they're all playing together in the same room. They can all hear each other. And that bleed between instruments, I don't care. I like it. I like the bleed. And have some fun with it. I wanted to do it like this because I wanted to demonstrate that obviously, you know, this equipment can make great sounding records. Simple as that. And it was affordable. I want to break down the illusions that you need to spend millions of dollars to get great results. We went into a nice looking room. We didn't even go use the control room. These are out in the live room with, a, with an engineer, Chris, with a pair of headphones on. And the only skill that he needed to bring was placing the microphone in the right place. After you place the microphone in the right place, everything else was done by these units. As you can see, this mix it's not really a mix. It is just all the faders up and panned. There was no compression or EQ going down. Everything you hear is off the floor, performed with no compression, no EQ, just the sound of the Evo 16 and the SP8. I know there's lots of channels, God bless them, that will do all of the specs down on this. And yes, go and watch that. Go and read Sound on Sound. I'm sure they'll do an amazing review on this, talking about all of the specs. The thing to me is... Can we put some musicians in a room? Can they perform together? And can we record it? And does it sound good? And I think it sounds fantastic. And I haven't spent any time mixing this. So imagine if you actually mixed it. Download the multi-tracks, mix for yourself. And don't forget, you can enter to win one of these beautiful SP8s. There is a link down below to enter to win. So in conclusion, I don't know if there's anything better in this price range that does this, that sounds as good as this. There will be after this, because what usually happens is something revolutionary comes out and it's a cut price and done really, really inexpensively. And then everybody else does their version of it, of course. But at the moment, this is it. The whole Audient range, as I was saying earlier, whether it be the Evo series or the Audient ID series, are all some of the quietest, cleanest sounding, most, as people like to say, transparent sounding, um, converters on the market. They all test in everybody's top five, top 10. And that's something to be said when a unit is only $500 to give you an extra eight inputs to your already eight inputs that you had with the Evo 16. If you've got an ADAT in and out, you can expand it with any of your interfaces. That's pretty darn amazing. So I think in conclusion, yeah, they brought out something which is really, I hate the word revolutionary, and I certainly hate the phrase game changer. We've all made sense, 
We've all made a lot of uh, jokes about that phrase, game changer. But what this is, is this is a really great sounding, very affordable way to expand your inputs. $499 for an extra eight inputs is wonderful. So bravo, audience, for doing that. So don't forget to check out the SP8 from Evo and enter to win. Link down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, adios, goodbye.